Today at Fraser Motor Car Company, we are going to review a very, very well documented, lovely 1972 Triumph TR6. This is an 1171 production, so it's a very, very early 72 car. The most amazing thing about this particular example is we have all the documentation since it was brand new including the original bill of sale. I think I saw the window sticker in there. We've got the, we've got the documentation showing where he had borrowed $2,700 at 1% for a monthly payment of $89 a month. We've got 20,000 mile service done for $20 three dollars spent on oil you can't even buy one quart of oil for three dollars today and the services just keep on going they wear you out there is so well documented and then one of the longtime owners i think the cars only had two or three owners one of the longtime owners wrote a three or four page log of what he spent when he spent it how much even down to when he bought his Triumph hat and his Triumph flag, banner. I'd be redundant if I kept saying this car is extremely well documented. It's extremely well documented. No rust, no accident history, just a sweet, nice driving, well cared for, well documented car. All right, so you can clearly see the paint is gorgeous on the car. Car sits nice. I think on Triumphs, the first thing I like to do is point out the gaps in the doors. Uh, when these cars rust, or the or the the mounts between the frame and the body collapse, this gap opens up. I've seen restored TR6s where they didn't put them back together right, where I could almost walk through the gaps. This one's got nice lines. Look at this. Every seam is even, about as even as Triumph came. Nice and straight. Come back here where this is a rust prone area. Nice seams. The lines on the deck lid are straight. The body straight, the car is straight. Nice gaps. This car in person is as pretty in the paint as you're seeing reflected in this video. Nice gaps, no rust, nice door gaps here. Pretty tier six. All right, look at the seals around the windshield. All in good shape. They're not cracked on the sides, not aged. The glass itself is good. This panel's in nice shape. Sun visors are tight, look at that. No cracks on that dash. Look how nice and crisp and clean this dash is. It's one of the prettiest ones I've seen. It's just, there isn't a single hairline crack in that wood dash. No broken from the choke. Gauges are all nice. Ah, oh, this is a nice car. <clears throat> Seats are up. Door cards will be tight. Look at that. No bagging. Nothing cracked on top side. Clean door jams. I love representing cars like this. Listen to that plunk on a TR6. This isn't a Mercedes, it's TR6. Clean lines here. Nice door jams, your build sheet and your 
color codes, build sheet, data card, data plate, clean car, uh, card here. Starts up very easily. All right, you can see we've got a cold start. All the chrome is in good order. A little brushed up here. Grill's in good shape. Pretty car, pretty color. I can open up the hood for you. Oh, nice. <laughs> Horns. Look how clean all this is, oh my gosh. Just nicely done, nicely detailed. Nothing scarred. This is in great condition. I gotta hear those horns. Back of the hood's nice. Let's go ahead and go back to the trunk. is nice here we've got the window sticker $3,800 and we have the British Heritage Certificate fantastic and then you saw in the pictures the stacks and stacks and stacks of service records dating all the way back to 72 that's really unusual for a Triumph, any British car, that far. Let's see, where were we going? What have I missed? The chrome in the back is good. Lenses are good. Of course, we're going to put it up in the air. We're going to go for a drive. How straight it is. Oh, we're going to try to find that horn. Bear with me here, we'll be exploring it. There it is. <laughs> perfect, perfect horn for a little British car. Oh, she's pretty. Let's put it up on the lift and let's go for a drive in this 95 degree heat. See how she does. All right, here we are at eye level on the lift. So we can see anything that's askew down low. And uh, we'll start right here on the corner. The seal beams are clean. The turn signal lenses are clean. That front spoiler is clean. This grill is clean and tight. Nice decal, nice lens. Good gap, good gap. Nice chrome. Nice paint and nice down the sides. Everything on this car is crisp and sharp. So far, no indication of accident and no indication of rust. Or rust history. Did the right paint on the rear, it's a nice satin black. Even the lug nuts are clean and nice. This guy really took care of this car. And straight, nice rockers. Nice 
nice deep tread. Looking for a date code for you. They're old, 2004. You know, they're not dry rotted and they've got deep tread, but they're old. <laughs> rocker panels seems to be the case on almost every collector car I get through here which is all we do tires are deep and tread and they're nice and they're dated because they don't get used my personal ones I have to kick myself because I'll go out and buy new tires and, and they sit in my car barn for 10 years that subject tires are not very expensive for this car oh that looks like a nice stainless steel exhaust nice 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 original spot welds are here let's try to get a little light here This is work's been done back here. All these nuts are brand new. The bushings are new. The mounts are new. There's nothing leaking back here. TR6 and no oil leak. That's an oxymoron. Shocks are dry. Shocks dry. Look at this. No rust at all. Nothing's been cut. Original inner seals with their drain plugs are clean. Floorboards are clean. Not scarred. Inner seals are clean. Look at all this. Dry, pretty. They've done front suspension work. All our nuts are brand new. Bushings are new. Well, this is a nice car. Let's take it for a drive. That'll tell me whether it's a nice car or not. It certainly is a car of integrity. <clears throat> with great provenance. All right, let's go for a drive in this 95 degree one. 